We always said great things don't come from comfort zones. I think that if I were to explain Tommy to you guys in college, num- like the first thing comes to mind, free spirit. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I want kids now. Crazy, huh? So the grass that we're standing on. Exactly. On this side. What rapper can you find in a toolbox? <laughs> <laughs> no MSR. Sorry, guys. AS- People. ASMR. ASMR. So I said it. No. ASMR. Okay, let's dive in. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Win Win Wednesday, where we upload an episode every single week. If you're returning to the podcast, welcome back. It's so good to have you. And if you're a new watcher, reviewer of the podcast, welcome, welcome. It's so good to have you here as well. This podcast is all about our lives on a week-to-week basis. It's about what we're processing, the challenges that we're going through, maybe the tensions that we're feeling, and we navigate through those thoughts and process it with you. So if we haven't met yet, my name is Tommy Wynn. And I'm Sopa Wynn. And we feel like when we share our lives and our stories with you, that's how we can get more connected to you. And I feel like there's just so much that we're going through each week and honestly every day. And so we come on the podcast and just kind of share how we're processing it. And it's been so fun because we have people reaching out to us, telling us how they're processing transition and so many other things. Mm -hmm. And so thank you guys so much for staying connected. It helps us have a purpose to what we are talking about here. And I think last week's podcast was about life's purpose. It was, yes, life's purpose. And so if you guys haven't tuned into that one, make sure you tune in because we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments or if you see us in person or you want to DM us on Instagram. I think everyone has different comfort levels on how much they want to share on the internet, like either publicly on YouTube, through a DM on Instagram or just in person. Yeah. And so, or they text us, right? Yes. So thank you to all who are staying engaged. Today we are talking about healthy rhythms and what we're doing in our life right now. Um, I don't know where you guys are tuning in from, but we are in the Bay Area. So we live in California. And if you've heard anything about California in the news, you know how like it's taking forever for us to get back to normal compared to like the rest of the world. Oh yeah. It doesn't even need to be the news, but like we have family that live everywhere, Florida, Texas, Indiana, Illinois, and their lives are like back to normal Mm -hmm. from COVID. And today is June 15th. I know you'd said not to say the day. That's all good. (laughs) Do you want to leave that on? Yeah, we can leave it on. We're rolling right now. We'll we'll keep it raw. I'm not even going to cut this. Okay. I love it because anyway, so we're recording right now on June 15th. 15th. And so what SoPa is trying to get at today, California has lifted their orders of requiring masks indoors, or I think just opening everything up where businesses can come back and open at full capacity. Yeah. What they're saying is like California is reopening its economy is like some, some of the things that I've seen online and this is a big day for us you guys and so this is a really perfect moment to kind of talk about all that we're feeling with california opening back up and it's so funny because since this podcast has started we're like i think on episode 38 we've only have been like not locked down but just super restricted and now i have like this hope of like summer's coming basically in like a couple of days mm-hmm. and it's warm outside. We can hang out with friends now. A bunch of people are vaccinated yep. and I just, our cases are so low in our County. And that's at one point it was so high, you know? Yeah. And like, yeah. I'm feeling like this really positive. I just feel really positive about the future right now. Yeah. And I feel like we're in a season where we're kind of like transitioning into this like post COVID era and going into summer you know just summer in general right covid or not covid pandemic or not pandemic it's it's typically a more positive kind of season to get into because it's warm out there's sun you know people like to go outdoors and actually do things so i think with everything kind of coming together with california reopening right it's it's a very hopeful season right now i feel yeah and i think back pre covid in my life and I think about amazing rhythms that I had and then I think about not so great rhythms that I had and now that we're like this post-COVID era I just I'm ready for healthy rhythms and healthy habits I don't know if you guys feel me on that if you do comment below and just say like yes I'm ready for some healthy rhythms because I just feel like I've had such bad habits Mm -hmm. and you know with staying home and just like so much fear and like anxiety 
And like, I want to look back at like the good rhythms I had pre COVID. And I want to bring those back. And the biggest thing I could think of healthy rhythm wise is working out. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's a huge one. And, and like I mentioned a little bit earlier, like I think this is the perfect time to transition into healthy rhythms from maybe the, the bad rhythms or the bad routines or bad habits that we've been in, you know, maybe throughout the 2020 year, throughout the pandemic. Even and the whole, I mean, it's already June, which is wild. And we're like halfway through 2021. Yeah, it's crazy. But like, I'm the first to tell you that I have bad habits in my life and I'm going to touch on that in this podcast and like what I want to do to, to break from those bad yeah, habits. Yeah, you want to dive right into those? Yeah, well, I want to talk about the good habits first that I had pre-COVID. So working out was a yes, great one and I felt like one. I was in such a good rhythm and like I I gained weight during COVID time, which yeah. is wild. Like, I don't know. I just, I've been so active. Not so active, that's a stretch. <laughs> Not so, I had more, more active. More active. Increased activeness. Like from college to like uh, pre-COVID. I mean, I was working out multiple times a week, five times a week. week. We were averaging about five times a week, sometimes six times a week. Yeah. Five to six times a week. I was working out and lifting. And then I had like client meetings and I was driving around places and walking around and going to the malls and doing all the things like, and then COVID hit. And I literally barely moved from my chair to my couch to my bed. Like we live in a smaller place. It's not like I have like a downstairs whole thing. I don't, I'm not walking around the house a lot, you know? And I think the big thing is too, like everything just kind of like it was like a like the next day everything like kind of changed right like yeah. everyone's lives pretty much changed things were shutting down like within a week i feel like the entirety of like our routine our lives changed significantly yeah everything was like on zoom and so it was like one meeting after another and i know some of you guys have to feel me on this where it's just like your calendar is just like full and it's like one zoom meeting after another and you just like don't move you just get up to use the bathroom and then you come back yeah and there was a term that was dubbed like living at work Oh yeah. So it's like that. It's not work from home. It's living at work. Yeah. Not like not, yeah, not work from home, but living at work. Dang. Yeah. So that was, so my habit before COVID was just working out. And so one thing that I have been working on right now to get into healthier habits is like getting back into the gym. Yeah. And what I've learned is that like at home workouts are amazing. I just feel like I I loved my at home workouts at the time, but then I fell out of the rhythm. Like I started, you know, doing other things and just lost it. I mean, everything just kind of mixed in together, right? We're in this, you know, apartment. So everything that we do, we work, we work out, we eat, we sleep, we we sleep. And our like social time is like all like in one room or in one space. And that, so that's one thing that I wanted to change. And so now I'm like, this is my second week into building this healthy rhythm in my life of working out. Tommy is a little bit better because he has like other activities he does that are more mm-hmm. physical activities than me. And so getting back into the gym has felt amazing. And I feel like you don't have to work out at a gym. You can literally go walk at the park, whatever works for you. But I think moving your body is such, it's so much, I don't, it's just so good for you that I feel like it's, yeah. I, I don't want to go back to a bad rhythm of not having that in my life anymore. Yeah, I mean, think about this like, before you know before maybe we we got out of the rhythm of working out like going somewhere to work out right um so now like to going back to working out like in the mornings right this is part of our rhythm is working out in the mornings it's like how do you feel like is there is there like a day and night difference for you like working out in the morning before work or you know or just not working out at all and just working throughout the day i mean i definitely i'm a morning workout person in college i was working out at like 10 11 p.m which is so crazy but mm-hmm. like now i love mornings and i think it helps me go get going and like i have that rush of like oh i was active and my body's feeling good and because i i work at a desk all day yeah you yeah, know i'm not really true. driving it's, around it's, anymore it's very much like sedentary life you know just kind of like at your desk on your computer working zoom calls etc and for me like when i work out in the mornings like I, I definitely feel a difference throughout my day i feel my energy is increased i even feel like my focus is i have more focus you know throughout my work day so that's i think that's a healthy rhythm that we've are, we are transitioning into and it's been it's been really good and i kind of think of it as like uh, I, I like to use car analogies so like when you first start your car, first thing in the morning, it's kind of like that cold start. It's kind of like still getting going and yeah. give it like 30 seconds to kind of really warm up. But if if you just go off and drive, and I don't know if all cars are like this. I feel like it's like this. And maybe that's just me personally, but like the car doesn't perform as well. Yeah. Until like it's warmed up and it's like ready to go. So like working out, it's kind of like that for me. It's like getting that cold start and getting warmed up and then getting ready for your day to go to go for that drive. Yeah. And I feel like church is another rhythm that 
it has always been a rhythm for years now. And even during COVID, we were filming church online. And so it was always in our weekly rhythm, but now Mm -hmm. it's like, it's in our rhythm of like going to a physical location to do church set up all the things. Yeah. Even with like, with church, you know, every Sunday people are used to waking up and just watching it online. In bed. You know, on, on, in bed. Or cooking and washing or cooking, dishes. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like a, a different rhythm because of the pandemic and what people were kind of, in a way, forced to do. Yeah. And now, like, things have opened back up. Churches are, are back. Um, gyms are opened up. So people are, are, like, I think people are just, like, ready to get back. You know, not everyone. I know yeah. some people are so cautious. And totally understandable, but I think just going into this like post era is what I'm gonna call it, and because that's how I feel about it right now, um, it's it's really hopeful. Like we're we're getting back into our healthy rhythms, you know, before COVID. Yeah, I feel excited about the church rhythm. I'm like ready to go. I'm getting better at my sleep schedule and stuff like that for church because we wake up super early on Sundays, and I'm not a morning person anymore. Because back then, my old rhythm was like, oh, yeah, I can wake up at 6 a.m. It's fine to get ready for church. But, man, it is a struggle every Sunday morning. So that's one other habit I'm trying to build into my life right now is sleeping earlier. And it has been extremely difficult for me to do that. But I'm working on it. Yeah. For me, it's I think it's really weird. Um, I think my rhythm before is like I was okay on like less sleep. Yeah, but now not anymore. And then I think during like pandemic, like I needed more sleep. And I don't know why, maybe it's like the mental energy and mm-hmm. I just needed more, not, not, not really physical energy that was needed, but it's just like the mental and maybe it's just tiring. And I think a lot of it too, like during the pandemic with all the changes going on, things yeah. like we just have to constantly figure out and it's Change like. Change is exhausting. Yeah, it is. And we just don't know what's going to happen in the next, in the next week. So we're like, you know, going, 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 figuring things out, figuring things out. And it, it is exhausting. You know, you get to a point where you're just like. Over it. I mean, I'm just over it. I'm just done. Like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. My brain can't handle any more change. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now that's why I feel, I just feel so good going into the summer and so good going into the season. Like, we're planning stuff. We're actually planning, like, vacations and stuff. Yeah, it's so exciting. And, and, and that's cool. Like, oh, uh, just, you know, get away for us, too. And it's really, really exciting. Yeah, like, I haven't taken really, like, time off, you know, in a, a healthy, a healthy rhythm of taking time off. Because when you operate a business... It's hard. It's hard. Even yeah. if you have a team in place and they're amazing, we have an amazing team, no matter what, it is still hard to take a step back from your own business, mm-hmm. you know? And so we're going to do like a little, a little short trip. That's going to be really yeah. meaningful. And I can't wait because Tommy and I haven't done a, our, a solo thing since like Yosemite, maybe a year ago ish, yeah. you know, and Yosemite was amazing. And so yeah, I was. feel like if we operate and own our own business, why not take advantage of the flexibility that we have? Yeah. You know? And so I just was like, hey, I really, I need some time off. And he's like, let's do it. Yeah. And so one thing you mentioned was like transitioning in, into one of the healthy rhythms was like working out for you. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, like what I've really missed, you know, during this time and that I've been getting back into, you know, probably the last couple of weeks really is sports. I love playing sports. So I'm back to playing soccer every week. Um, for those of you know, for those of you who know me, like know that I grew up playing soccer, love playing soccer. And so I'm, I'm back at doing that with all the guys. And it's, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been so like fulfilling for me. It's like my, my active rest uh, in a way. <laughs> Right. And so Paul may not agree. Like you call that rest. You're crazy. But for me, it's like, I, I enjoy refilling um, my mind. It's a mental rest for me where I can just kind of get away and just play soccer. Um, and then surfing, of course, mm-hmm. which I've been doing, you know, for, for months now. And, <laughs> you know, you're out in the water. COVID's not out in the water, so you're all good. Bro. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. For all you guys that are listening, I was just being, I was, I was a joke. All right. <laughs> Don't comment down below and tell me I'm wrong. shady. <laughs> Don't be shady. <laughs> And what are some old basketball? So that's something that's new in my rhythm, but mm-hmm. that's been really fun. So like after um, church on Sundays, we're playing basketball and that's been really, really fun for me. That has been fun. Yeah. Too. And then just getting back into the gym. Um, for me, I, I just really, I enjoy um, a more active lifestyle, I would say, yes, because it's do. fulfilling for me. It's fulfilling not only physically, but mentally. And I just, I just been really enjoying it. Yeah. So those are some healthy habits that we are incorporating in our lives. We'd love to hear what habits you're incorporating in your life. Please comment below, message us however you want Mm -hmm. to tell us about your healthy habits. And 
for me, a new habit I'm incorporating is reading every single day and reading. I'm more of an audiobook person. I'm trying to do physical books, but I'm just not there yet. Like the mm-hmm. idea sounds amazing. It's just not, it's just not something I want to do at and this time. I think time. it's personality too. You're very much like go, go, go. Yeah. So you just need something that you can just listen to on the and go. And pick up right, right away. Yeah. If, oh. I'm wa- if I'm walking, driving, whatever. Yep. And, and like the apps on your phone. So it's like everything's all there ready to go. Yeah. It just makes sense for who I am. So, and I'm reading a book right now called Winning the War in Your Mind by Craig Rochelle. And Craig Rochelle is one of my favorite speakers and authors. I just think everything he puts out is just, it's made a true impact on my life and his marriage books, everything. Mm -hmm. Um, And so far the book is great. Winning the war in your mind. And yeah, that's a book that I can't really listen to super quickly. It's a shorter book. It's only four hours long, but I'm listening it on listening to it at one X, which is normal speed, which is very uncommon, but he also speaks really fast, which is another reason why I love him. He just, Boom, 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 boom. He has a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I love it. Lots of energy. A lot of energy. If you guys but look check up, him out on YouTube if you have not heard him speak. He's like, ah, he's, like screaming. he's just literally screaming. Actually, so you used to listen to, um, on YouTube, you used to watch his videos. Well, more I watch like him. listen, you just have it on listening. I mean, I was listening to him this morning. And like in the mornings, right? And um, sometimes so he'll be up before me. And I just hear some guy screaming. I'm like, who is that? Who's that guy screaming in this Craig Rochelle? I love it. That was one of my old rhythms pre-COVID, actually. Yeah. I would listen to Craig Rochelle and his mess- I would follow his message series every single like time I'd listen to. I mean, in the morning I wake up, it's kind of like my quiet time, which is hilarious. Yeah. But it's not really quiet. He just like pumps me up. It's like a coach that's like pumping you up for life mm. and to live like on fire and on mission with a purpose and a reason. And like where and he's just like god has a plan for your life and he just like fires me up yeah but it speaks biblical truth into my life like i just love Kroger Show. yeah and just imagine it's being in my everyone. shoes right i mean no i love that stuff i love like the encouragement the motivation the inspiration that that he does or that you know the stuff he talks about and his energy but just imagine you know in the morning you're, you're just like just waking up and then you just hear some dude scream and you're like, bro, chillax. So it's so funny because that's like an old rhythm that was really good for me in my life and spending time diving into the word and just, you know, doing that. That was a good rhythm mm-hmm. that I had pre-COVID and I'm bringing it back. But for Tommy, like for like what I can't do in the morning is like loud music. That's just like the music on the radio. Like I literally could, nothing could annoy me more than music blasting the moment I wake up. Hey, do I? I don't blast the music. Yeah, you do. It may. It may. I think it sounds like it. I, I try to be mindful if I'm up. You are you. very mindful, but I can still hear it, and it's yeah, that's true. I just like can't do music right when I wake up. It's like mm-hmm. super stimulating for me that it's just too much, too much. Like I don't know. It's like just one song after another. That's why when I listen to like a message, like a sermon, it's just like one consistent big idea for 25 minutes long or like a chapter of a book under one big idea for 15 minutes yeah. versus like three minute songs over and over like it's yeah, just, i think that's where we're different yeah, yeah i can't yeah. like talk. i just like for me it's like just kind of like the flow like i don't even really even listen to the lyrics See, i'm it's such a like, lyric listener like the music yeah and you are a lyric i listen listener. to every yeah. word and that's why his whole playlist he listens to this whole week i can literally sing every single song on it and i'm like yeah i can literally tell you the order like that's about to come up because that's how much I pay attention and that's why I'm sensitive to what I consume. Which makes a lot of sense because when you listen to Craig Rochelle, he's like speaking words where this might be like maybe EDM or something. It's not necessarily words. So it's just just a bunch of beats and like, it's it's kind of like wavelengths instead of words. It literally overwhelms me to the point of like stress. This sounds so dramatic. Which is crazy because, but it's true. Listening to someone yell, right? Or it's like words. Subject. That's so like, sub. Like, like you have to, you have to comprehend them. Under, try to listen to that. But it's or, adding value or, to my life versus an EDM song talking yeah, about yeah. like I staying think, up all night and partying. It's I think. Just like, I think for you, but for me, like it's just more of the mind state of like having like a melody or a rhythm. It's just kind of going I rhythm, know. transitioning into good rhythms. So that's like one of my rhythms. It's just like music, and that kind of just. It helps me just get my day going without having to really listen to anything. I, I hear it. It's almost like background music. See, but for me, I'm more like I actually take it in. I'm so, I like I said, I'm sensitive to what I consume, which is 
want that's why these habits are changing for me like i want to be on my phone less i don't want that like laying on the tiktok for hours or social media mm-hmm. in my, my in my rhythms anymore like during covid time that's all i did i was just on my phone yeah, all true. day like i didn't read really anything yeah like reading my bible was about the extent and it's like a tiny yeah, little think, section of it so you took a break a few weeks ago like a full week's break right yeah. um from, from TikTok, and TikTok. And from or for just from social media yeah. for the most my part personal besides, social. besides like work stuff yeah and how, how do you think that's uh help impact like you know what impact has that made taking that break for you i mean i love it i want to do more of it and i'm excited because we're transitioning some stuff in our business right now that we can't wait to share i don't know if we're going to share it on the podcast because it's a little bit i don't know it's just it's business, the stuff. business but if you guys want to hear more business stuff comment down below and let us know yeah i don't know if you guys want to hear business stuff yeah it's I a mean, whole different topic it is it is different um but it's a huge part of our well, life if you guys are interested in it we'll gladly and be happy to talk about it because yeah with all that i'm learning so much about bad habits what my good what i want to be more good healthy habits and like changes in my life that i'm literally making and a huge one is in our business and so because of that fast and so many other things and life changes i'm like ready to just take a step back from social media for a while um for for clients and for myself like a lot of it's just going to be automated and like have a very intentional purpose on how i'm going to use my social media nice moving forward that's good. And I think now it's like, so we talked about you consuming, when you were consuming like TikTok and Instagram, probably yeah. I would say mainly TikTok, but it was like kind of empty consum- consumption, right? Yeah. You're, you're filling your cup with like air, like nothing's going in, but you're, you're still Just pure entertainment it. value. Yeah. And I think that's why reading now is becoming one of my habits because it's just like I pick up in one part of the book and I just like you know, if I'm cleaning the house or whatever, I'm just listening to it and learning and applying and like yeah. have practical takeaways that I can reflect on afterwards versus like TikToks that are just funny. There's nothing wrong yeah. with it. I'm still on TikTok now, but I would say I'm on it less. Like I don't feel like the major like, oh, I need to be on it because I'm bored. Yeah. It's like I yeah. have a book I can read or I have things in my house or things to get ready for. Like now that life is getting back to normal, my family's going to come visit and I hope I can have mm. them on the podcast. That's exciting. I'm so excited. Like oh, yeah. I haven't had family in California. I don't even know how long, like since March, 2020. Yeah. Even like my parents, they've probably been here the most in terms of family. Like our Michaela's family. Michaela's probably a strong. Actually, Michaela, if you're listening, she is like the single person that's been here the most. Yes. And it's always fun when you're here. So Come whenever back. you want to visit, you know, we're here, you know, yeah. where, you know where to find us. Exactly. And she was here March, 2020, right before our oh, whole yeah, that was like, shut down stuff happened. Like the day before it happened. We were literally, I remember that because we were in San Diego, literally making TikToks. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then the day she flew back the next, like, I think like, like the, uh, maybe the next day or a couple of days it after was, yeah. it was like shut down. Everything shut down. Yeah. It was so crazy. Cal- or at least California. Yeah. We were the first ones to shut down. The last ones to open up. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> but basically... <laughs> we, California's safe, guys. It is. It it's really is. I'm proud of safe-ish. our. I'm, I'm proud of our county. I'll say county. county. I can't speak for the state. That's true. State's huge. Yeah, and so now that family's coming back, like I'm just so, oh, I'm just so excited. Like I feel like there's so much more than just sitting on social media all day. I'm speaking my own struggles in the podcast, though. I'm not saying everyone's super trying to be on social all day, like you. You're not. Yeah, I mean, my big struggle was just not being able to get out, or you know, it's cool. Honestly, just to go play sports, like for me, again, that's just so fulfilling for me. And it was hard. Like I was working out at home and I was lacking a lot of motivation. I was Mm -hmm. like doing (laughs) push-ups, stuff like that. And it's just, it wasn't cutting it for me. Yeah. And then you even like lost some weight, like some muscle. Oh yeah. For me, like you gain weight. I actually Mm -hmm. lost weight. And for me, it's like when I work out, when I lift, um, I actually gain weight. And uh, I know most people, when they work out, they want to lose weight. So I kind of have the opposite um, challenge, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I, I lost like a good probably 10 pounds or so, or maybe 15. I, I haven't weighed myself in forever, but. Yeah, because we saw some people we haven't seen in years, mm-hmm. um, Jackie's family. And her, her uncle was telling Tommy like, yeah, you lost weight, man. And I'm like. Yeah, you can see it in the face. face. Like my face is like the first tell. Yeah. And I'm like, my face is a little more. <laughs> But even that, like going to um, Jackie's baby shower, yeah. you know, last week, that, that that was awesome. Like when I was sitting there just hanging out with everyone, I'm like, man, this feels so, so good. good. It's like we're back like at this like summer barbecue, like a family barbecue. And it just felt amazing. Yeah. When I'm not freaking out about like, I don't know. I'm just like, 
you kind of, it's like if you're going out during flu season or something, you kind of just know it's there. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, we vaccinated. So we vax, bro. I'm like, my anxiety level is just so much because I don't want to be around my best friend who's pregnant and just risk that. And so, yeah, we've all made the decision to just, but yeah, I would just say it just felt really good just to be with people who we know and love and, and just to hang out, barbecue and, you know, it, it just felt super normal, if I can say that, right? It just felt like it was like before COVID times. Just yeah, it's hanging post-COVID out. time now. Yeah. So. And I, would, I also want to kind of wrap up this podcast and just encourage yeah. all of you and just say that like if you're in unhealthy ha- habits right now or you're in, you know, not a so positive moment or time in your life, to just give yourself like just give yourself some grace, give yourself moments of like understanding and being like oh i fell short here or you know i laid on my phone for an hour and a half i'm not feeling so good about myself because of that just remember that we just came through one of the hardest times that a lot of us will face um you know so yeah well i don't know i don't want to say that maybe maybe like um in this era at least for us if you're like in yeah i mean it's not gonna apply to every single person but But speaking on just what we know just our experience our own experience mentally emotionally this like COVID physically, was physically was yeah. one of the hardest times yeah, physically for me, especially for, for like, us, at least in our, you know, 20, 30 years of living. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Short 20, 30 years, but yeah. yeah, like a pandemic you guys. And so just give yourself grace. If you can't fit into those skinny jeans that you bought right before the pandemic, don't feel bad about it. I'm just like over it at this point. Yeah. Cause just, I'm like, Oh, I'm going to lose the weight. And I, yeah. I feel like I probably will just based on like how I used to be um, pre COVID with my activity and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm just not beating myself up about gaining weight or, Mm -hmm. you know, making less money or making more money or whatever. Like, I just, I'm just done beating myself up about those things. And I think that's good. Like just forgive yourself, forgive yourself grace. And I think, you know, what I said, what we said in the last podcast in the previous one, if you haven't listened to it yet, it's life's purpose, um, is that you can come as you are, but you don't have to stay that way. Right. So wherever you're at in this point in your life, you can change that. You can trans- transition into healthy rhythms. You know, look at the things that you're doing right now, your rhythms right now. How does that affect you mentally, spiritually, and physically, emotionally. right? And emotionally. And if, if you can transition to something where it's a healthy rhythm, where you are investing into something that's going to help you physically, emotionally, or spiritually, then go for it, right? Now the, now is the time. Now is the time to, to transition into those healthy rhythms and become a better you. Yeah, that's where we are right now. We'd love to hear where you guys are. And ultimately, as you start working on having healthier rhythms in your life, I encourage you to have accountability partners. I think that has mm. been huge for me, like my transition from Sophie to Sopa. And I'm still going by Sophie, by the way, because it's just part of who I am now. You know, I think it's fine. But I have friends that hold me accountable of just like, oh, you should have said Sopa and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I didn't necessarily ask for that accountability, but like the fact that they just stepped up and did that was it's just been really helpful for me and so as you do these new rhythms and you're trying to incorporate better habits in your life have someone that holds you accountable where it's like me and Tommy obviously we hold hold each other accountable with working Mm -hmm. out and stuff like that but if it's like having a partner like someone to help read a book with you or someone that wants to like eat healthier with you learn to cook with you whatever it is I don't know finding someone to hold you accountable is like a huge way to incorporate healthy habits if it's not natural to you right now yeah I think that's so good too like the accountability because a lot of us and if you guys are honest with yourselves it's mm-hmm. hard to hold yourself accountable it's hard to be the accountability person for yourself I know for me like if I try to hold myself accountable, it's difficult. It's challenging. Like I have to be very intentional about it. So if you can find someone that can hold you accountable as you are making these transitions mm-hmm. into healthy rhythms, you know, that's that's perfect. I think that's so good. And ultimately, you guys, to wrap this all up is to have fun. I feel like building habits isn't always easy and it's not always fun. But I think that the the, the results produce so much fruit in your life and it just make a difference emotionally mentally spiritually all of that yeah like the fact that i just am moving my body more and just being intentional with like feeding myself better foods that's also what i'm trying to do um and and moving and being active and just giving my body a break from like over a year of just sedentary lifestyle you know yeah and with good habits it takes about three weeks to form and three days to break how do you know that 
Is it? Everybody knows that. Really? No, I'm just kidding. It's it's something I heard growing up about habits. Um, you know, because I listen to a lot of like motivational yeah. speakers, stuff like that, like Gary Vaynerchuk, um, and just people like him. And it, and I think it's very true. I don't know the exact like number, but it's it, it does take time to form healthy habits. Mm-hmm. But it takes a very short amount of time to break those habits. So so we understand. I I know where you're coming from. If you're trying to form a healthy habit or a good habit. It's going to take time. It's a process. And like, so Paz said, just have fun with it. Have fun with it as you're, and, and for me, I always try to remind myself like it's to enjoy the process. Love the journey. It's something (laughs) I used to say a lot in college and it's something I still stand by today is like, just love the journey, love the process that you're going through because you're making a change in yourself to become a better you. Yeah. I love that. I mean, I think about cleaning and how it's been a habit in my life now. So like, I don't know, I just, it's a thing now for me, mm-hmm. but I love it. I have so much fun doing it and it brings me so much joy and is truly so therapeutic for me. So it, it can be fun to love the process of yeah. and love the journey I, of yeah. habits that might not always be so fun. Like now I'm like loving it. It's yeah. amazing. It, it is a process, right? So some days you're going to get it. Some days you're not going to, you know, you're not going to hit your goal or whatever it is. And that's okay. Yep. We'd love to hear how you guys are processing all of this, this whole conversation. Are you thinking about these things? Is it not on your radar yet? Are you just not ready for that? I don't know. We don't know where everyone is. So we'd love to hear different perspectives because I think different perspectives help you be better at everything. Yeah. So make sure you guys comment below or tell us in person. Yeah, let us know what maybe what healthy rhythms that you want to get into or that you're aiming to get into. Yep. And that's all we have for today's podcast, you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And to also rate us on podcasts. If you guys are listening on Apple or Spotify, that'd be amazing. Yeah. And one thing before we continue, I just want to, It's we just hit a milestone, a goal that we set earlier this year with the podcast and we finally hit it and i didn't tell sopa exactly you know what the number was yet but Mm -hmm. we hit it and it's super exciting to see that to to, you know hit a goal that we set earlier this year um and to hit it really early on um so that's been really exciting i didn't even know that yeah so i when i was uploading the podcast last week i saw i'm like no way we you know we finally we we hit this uh this benchmark that we set for ourselves you know for a podcast so um that's really exciting Yay. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yep. Awesome. So we'll see you guys next Wednesday for It's a Win Win podcast. My name is Sopa. And my name is Tommy Wynn. We'll see you guys next week. Peace Bye. out.